boys and girls, we've been in school this morning just putting the last few things ready, ready to welcome those of you who are coming back into school next week. Um, I thought I'd do a little video to help you. I'm reading my notes to make sure I don't forget to say anything really, really important. So how are you? That's the most important bit and that's the first bit of what we're going to be looking at and catching up. You're going to want to catch up with your friends, find out how they are, what they've been up to. Um, so don't worry, it's not going to be straight back to work and there'll be a plenty of time for you to talk. There's also going to be plenty of time for you to ask us questions as well because school's going to be a little bit different and that's what I'm hoping this video is going to do. We're all here to help you though so don't worry and ask us anything, absolutely anything at all. And don't worry if you forget things either, no one's going to be in trouble for forgetting anything. So have a look at this video, see what you can remember and then we'll help you when you come in next week. Um, most of you are going to only be in school once a week so we'll see you then and we'll be able to talk to you about any work that you've been doing. Um, you're going to stay with your group all day so the children you are with you're going to have to be really kind to each other, you're going to, you know, the kinder you are the more fun you'll have. You're going to spend all day in your classroom or out in the, our grounds and we'll get outside as much as we can with your teacher. Um, you're going to eat lunch in your classroom, so there isn't a canteen, you bring your sandwiches in and you'll have your, your sandwiches in the classroom. Um, you'll be sat, uh, it doesn't look like an exam room, don't worry, we've still got tables and chairs out, but can you remember not to move the chairs because they've been set up properly because it's really important we all try and stay two metres apart. Um, when you're in your classroom, you might have a laptop, and if you have a laptop or an iPad, you'll use the same one all day. So we won't be sharing them around, um, and at the end of the day, we'll clean them all before the group will come in the next day. We'll also have plenty of pens and pencils, so please don't bring your, your pencil cases to school. You'll have your own, they'll be in a little bag just for you, so only you will use them. Um, Okay, so this video is going to help with lots of other things. Don't forget, we've got three rules in school. Be safe, be ready and be respectful. And I'm hoping this video is going to help us to get ready. Um, Grown-ups, it might help you too as well, so that you know what's going in on, on the first morning when you come back to school. So um, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to show you a little bit around the school and how it's going to work. Mr Evans has been busy doing some painting and there are some markings on the floor that are going to help you. At the top of the steps that come up from the road he's painted some feet and this is where you're going to line up. If your teacher or teaching assistant is by the feet you need to say goodbye to your grown up and go and stand on one of the feet. They're spaced out so that you know you're safe. If your teacher isn't there you need to wait in the infant playground until it's your class's turn to line up. If you're in nursery and visiting us on Monday morning to see Mrs Tucker and Mrs Butler, you'll be the only class going into the building, so grown-ups stay with them and make a socially distanced line to the door into the foundation face hall. The feet and the arrows will help you to do this. On Tuesday, this is what's going to happen. Mrs Tucker's class will go in first. Once everyone in her class who's come in that day is lined up on the feet, she'll take them into school. Mrs Tucker's class, you've swapped rooms. You're going to be in the middle room in the foundation away. phase building. When you go in, Mrs Tucker's going to tell you to walk in one behind the other following the arrows. Use them like stepping stones. Go to each arrow one at a time. Only one person on an arrow. The person at the front of the line will stop near the door. There's another pair of feet painted there. Feet means stop, arrows mean go. Mrs Tucker will tell you when to come in. When you go in through the door, take a squirt of hand gel and then go into your classroom. Don't go to the cloakroom, we're not using them anymore. Take your lunch box or bag and your coat if you've got one and sit down on a chair. You need to sit on a chair, not the carpet, and you mustn't move the chairs around. Mrs Butler will be there to help you, so don't worry. Miss Jones's class, you're going to go in next. As I said, I really hope your grown-ups will bring you in. Grown-ups, if you're watching this, I know you'll see why. I'm worried it's going to be too exciting for the children and they'll need grown-ups to keep them safe while there are lots of other children and parents around. Please come with them. Try to time it so you arrive at the time we've said. If you arrive early, or if you've got a younger brother or sister, you'll need to wait in the foundation phase yard before Miss Jones comes out. When you're waiting there, you mustn't run around or play. You need to stand on your own with your grown-up. Grown-ups, you're responsible for them until Miss Jones calls for them. Miss Jones's class will line up on the feet at quarter past nine, and then she'll take them along the arrows, one at a time, to the old girl's entrance door. Remember to stand on the feet if you're the first one in the line. 
Once she calls you in, take a squirt of hand gel and you can go following the arrows up the stairs to your classroom to sit on a chair in your class. Remember to take your lunch and your coat if you've got one. You can put your lunch box on the trolley outside the classroom like you normally would, but take your coat in and put it on the back of your chair. Once you get in there, sit where the chairs are, don't move any of the chairs. This is your classroom. Miss Ferguson's class will go in next. This is what your classroom looks like. Miss Wills's class is after Miss Ferguson's and they do the same as Miss Jones's class. This is your room. It's Mrs Reeves class, this is her room. And then it's Mr Davis's class, this is your room. Grown-ups, please don't go to talk to the teacher or to the TA or to the office. They need to keep their attention on the children and we've got to keep to time. We haven't been able to have a strict one-way system, but it'll be much better if you are able to leave by going through the backyard to the lane. The gate will be open, so if you walk down from Sainsbury's direction or Ealing Way, you'll still be able to come in that way. Just go to the Foundation Face Yards to get to the feet, not down the steps by the office. If you can't go the long way round as you leave, please give way to anyone coming up the steps. Grown-ups, while we're letting you on site, if you time it right and you've only got one chance, Child, please let them come up to their teacher on their own. Thank you. Boys and girls in the hub classes, you're based up in the nursery building. We've turned the one room into a bit more of a junior room. Uh, when you come, please come to the right hand door and that's where the staff there will greet you and there's hand gel and it'll be uh, Miss Young, Mrs Rogers, Miss Difford and Mrs Lewis will be there to look after you. When you come to school, come to school in clean clothes, but they mustn't be your best clothes because we're going to be going outside a lot to do lots of fun forest schools activities that Mrs Bentley's been planning for us. If it's sunny, put some sun cream on and if it's cold or if it's a little bit wet, make sure you've got something warm on and you've got a coat with you. You'll still be going out to play, but we're going to use all of our yards. We'll be going in the yellow brick road, the foundation phase yard, the backyard in the juniors and out on the main junior yard. Juniors, I bet you can't wait to use the new basketball hoop. So that's it. If you're coming back, we we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.